Okay, so we've let our model cell sit in our cellular environment, which is distilled water with Google solution or amber colored testing solution, if you will. Inside of our cell, there is glucose and starch, which was pure white. But now I'm gonna dry it off a little bit here. After a 10 minute soak, you'll notice what happened to the cell. Okay, the cell is now kind of purplish inside, which is an indication that the glucose solution went into the actual cell through the semi-permeable membrane or the dialysis tubing and indicated for starch. But what you really want to know is, is there any glucose that came out? And so what we have done, or I have done, is I took a few drops of the solution and I put it in to a hot water bath with a few drops of Benedict or blue colored testing solution. This coloration, this orange or sometimes it comes out of brick red, is an indication that there is indeed glucose in here afterwards. So that would have you indicate or actually kind of imply that there is glucose that came out of the cell, that the iodine went into the cell or the Lugol solution, excuse me, went into the cell, but you'll notice that nothing happened with the starch. And the way that you can tell that no starch came out is because the water in this cup stayed the color of the amber colored testing solution. If it did not, if starch had come out, I'll give you a demonstration. Of course, this is not part of the lab, but I just wanna give you a demonstration. I'll put some starch in there for you so you can see that when you do that, this is starch solution. Watch what happens when starch solution hits that. So this is, this is a good test to show that starch did not come out of your cell. Okay, it turns it black. So obviously starch did not leave the cell, glucose did leave the cell, and iodine actually went into the simulated cell.